usually try to, you know, draw these people incognito, and I'll do, like, quick glances and then look back down at my sketch pad and spend most of the time looking down, but with people with their phones, you know, it's easy. You can just, you can basically just study them, you know, no one looks up. He was wearing his suit, you know, he was clean cut, he looked, he kind of struck a cartoon caricature of a, like a businessman, real stern face, so, yeah, he just kind of, kind of fits what you'd imagine for a suit type cartoon character. He was probably wondering what, what was going on, but, uh, that's pretty common, sometimes that happens. Usually people are just like, uh, just another train weirdo, <laughs> they just kind of deal with it. <laughs> Very rarely do people ask, you know, like, what are you doing, or can I see the drawing, or anything. Usually, they just <laughs> just go about a business. I draw for a living, so I'm always drawing people, and by studying people, you're just studying new facial structures, new facial features, and everyone's face is different, obviously, so just by recording, you know, like, studying these people, you kind of are creating a library um, of, like, different noses, different mouths, different expressions. You might not be thinking of, you know, this businessman that I just drew today, but that's in your memory. You have that as kind of like information that you can draw back on and, you know, like, oh, I remember this kind of nose. Like, I remember this shape working well. So, um, that sort of thing. I got into drawing when I was a kid because I just liked doing it. And I still today, that's what I like to do. It's like a form of entertainment. And uh, drawing on the train, it like passes the time so fast. Like I'll start, I'll do a few faces and I'll be, be home. So it makes a train ride go fast.